The northern communal areas consist of six regions which are home not only to 60% of the Namibian population but also to more than 60% of the cattle population in the country. Despite this high percentage, the livestock in these areas only contribute 10% of the gross domestic product of the country. This is also reflected in the fact that the offtake rate on sales in the NCA is less by 4% compared to 20 to 25% in the commercial areas. The government has thus adopted different strategies and policy interventions to improve this low productivity in agriculture in the NCA, which is also a key policy of the fourth National Development Plan, NDP4. One of the key strategies is to improve the self-organization of the farmers in the NCA to form cooperatives and register them with the government, and to date, there are six such cooperatives. Consensus was then reached with the Zimbabwean government for Namibia to export 1,000 tons of chilled and boned meat from the northern food and mouth protection zone. The livestock sector in the northern communal areas is a big untapped resource to generate more wealth and employment for Namibians and residents in our country. MCA Namibia has played a vital role in striking this historical bilateral deal as the NCAs are not yet officially declared free from animal diseases such as food and mouth. The MOU signed yesterday aims to build the administrative, business and financial capacity of the livestock marketing cooperatives to ensure sustainable management and implementation of meaningful livestock production and marketing in the northern communal areas. The first track of the consignment left today from the Ongwediva Fresh Produce Hub. The cooperatives hope to export 25 tons of boned meat to Zimbabwe each month. Plans are also underway for the NCA farmers to export bone meat to Angola.